first win for Wilder. Is this going to change things for Sheffield United? Have they still got a chance of staying up, do you think? <laughs> it's very early days to be talking about that, to be honest. But it it can't help but make you feel like that. And you have to, we're trying to take it one game at a time and not get carried away. There's still a, a reasonable gap between us and safety because um, I think Everton will pull away. But now that Chris is back and you can see the levels in performance have just lifted so significantly... I'm absolutely delighted. And yeah, I wouldn't bet against us now. I think before, you could see the players were flat, unfortunately. And that's nothing against Paul Eckingbottom. It just wasn't working for whatever reason. But Chris Wilder coming in completely changes it all. And yeah, I'm, I'm very confident now moving forward. So what is it about Chris that's changed things with the players? Because he's the same set of two players. But what what is it about? What's he done, do you think? It's belief. It's and it's knowing what you're fighting for. I I, I don't want to criticize Paul Eckenbottom because I think it's it's very harsh to do so. What I try and say on our channel is that we're not anti Heckingbottom, we're just very pro Wilder. He's come in and he's given the players belief that they're there on merit. They're in the Premier League because they deserve to be. They've now all got an idea of what their individual and team plan is. And you can see that the belief is there, the confidence is there, and it's starting to click which is um, the fans are on board. He's brought the fans back on board as well. I don't think we're 100% of the way there, but we're certainly well on track for 95% of the fan base to be on board with Chris Wilder because there was a lot of uncertainty when he was linked with coming back. And I think some people thought we should remain loyal to Paul Heckingbottom and that's admirable. But unfortunately, it's a business. And if we're going to try and stay in the Premier League, we needed to change something and, and him coming in and giving the players that confidence and belief and letting them know that we might not expect to turn up and win every single game. We're not going to outclass every opposition that we come up against, but the least we expect is effort, desire, determination to fight for our shirt and our club. And that's why we weren't seeing that. And that's why it was fracturing a little bit and the fans were getting a little bit disheartened and it's back. It just in these listen, it's early days and I understand that. But you can tell there's been a change in the mindset of the players. And the thing that we know about Chris Wilder is if if it's not there, if he doesn't see that passion and desire from the players, they won't be around very long. So he will make changes. I'm confident of it in January. And now they're all playing for their own future to a, to a certain degree. So it's absolutely brilliant. It's night and day from what we've been seeing. And it, it, we're now just, it, we're back. It feels like we're back. And I got a lot of criticism for saying that online. But that's just how I genuinely feel. And it's only one person's opinion, but it's, it's changing a lot of people's opinions, I think, or I like to think anyway, because the belief is back again, not just from the players, but from the fans as well. Yeah, and talking to the fans, what what was the atmosphere like at the game at the weekend? Did you notice the a difference in the crowd? Absolutely. I think, to be honest, we are one of the most... Or we're biased. I'm biased, obviously, but I think we're the, one of the most loyal and patient fan bases... On the terraces, every uh, fan base will complain and moan when things aren't going their way, whether that's online or on forums and things of that nature. And we've had that for some time. But in the stadium, we do back the players. The turning point for us, I think, was when we were losing at Burnley, the away following, who were the most loyal fans that you can get, turned a little bit on the players. because And long overdue, in my opinion, but they weren't showing the effort and desire for the shirt. Chris Wilder's come back in, brought us all back together again. That first game against Liverpool, we were beaten by a better team, if we're honest, but we gave absolutely everything. And because of that, the fans stayed behind the team. And then at the weekend against Brentford, we've heard it louder. So I personally think we can go up another couple of notches, but it's it's certainly back to the levels that we we're expecting. So I think the more this momentum continues, the more the crowds will join up join along and get back into it some would say it was absolutely electric i think we can go up another notch or two personally but it's absolutely brilliant to be back in a raucous crowd again where we're just kicking and heading every ball with them and go on go on every five minutes it's absolutely brilliant whether we're we're in the ascendancy or whether we're defending with our lives that's all we expect is people to be giving everything they are for the shirt and it's been absolutely brilliant to, to just have some of that back so how excited are you for the rest of the season? It, <laughs> if you can't already tell, I'm absolutely delighted. I don't. There's nobody else I would have wanted to come into our club. Chris Wilder, 
and he said it himself. He's been very humble on his return. He'll, he'll tell you himself he's got he's got an ego, as have all managers, and I think you have to have to get to this level of success that he has. But he has been very humble in his return and sort of said he's got to convince a lot of the fan base and, and sort of win them back round because he knows he left under a bit of a cloud last time. He always said he'd leave through the front door. And unfortunately, it didn't quite work out how everybody wanted it to last time. He hasn't quite said it, but I, a lot of us feel like there's a lot of unfinished business for him here. And safety for me, getting Premier League safety and survival would be up there with his greatest. He's our greatest ever manager in recent times, certainly the best manager I've ever seen. And it would be up there with his best ever achievements in the club, looking up from where we started. There's no man I would want as leading as more. And I am so excited for the rest of the season. I cannot tell you, just come on, you blades. It's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. That's what I like, a bit of enthusiasm. Thank you very much. Ramble on.